Hello, Northern Hero here on Northern Hero 099 channel. What I'm about to ask you all right now is a question Has God ever spoke to you verbally? Us Christians, we all get thoughts that come from the Holy Spirit that guide us or warn us of a particular thing or person or whatever. I mean in the last few weeks I added a certain individual on my Facebook and I kept getting it really strong remove him, remove him from Facebook and I knew this individual from the past but I believe that God was warning me of, a, of this individual so I selected unfriends at the bottom just the, other, just the other day actually and then I went back to read Genesis which, by the way, this, this, this is amazing. It's the book of Genesis illustrated. It includes all 50 chapters um, with everything, um, nothing left out. Illustrated. And it's really amazing. And as I was reading that, God... I got an incredible thought that came to me and this thought was I will tell you who to be friends with on Facebook and that people who to get rid of it went something like that and that was just after I became unfriends with him see we've got to be careful aren't we I mean there's people that aren't bothered about what pe how many people sees the profile, how many people sees the photos. No no one seems to be bothered, no one seems to be putting the privacy settings on since Facebook changed all that. Anyway that that's one thing I'm telling you about and this other thing which I'm about to say is that God once spoke verbally to me. Um, I'm actually surprised that I never mentioned it before, but probably wasn't the right time. Years and years ago, I'm talking a lot of years now, I was going out with a girl at the time, you know, I was just about 15 years old and I was on my bed just thinking about the relationship but my mind was wandering at the time and I was thinking I had explicit thoughts which entered my mind what can I do you know, sexual thoughts of what I could do to this girl. You know, obviously, have sex with her basically. Um, I was on my bed thinking about stuff like that, and I heard this voice tremendous. I heard a voice. Now, listen, listen to me. This is. This voice came sharp, loud, and I couldn't stop thinking about it for about 30 minutes after. I was like, I'm in bed, thinking about it. And I believe this is from God. Do not do it. And it, I could hear it all the way outside of my body, inside of my body. Tears are in my eyes right now. I know that that was from God warning me. I mean, 
What might have happened if that had have occurred? Might have had a kid or whatever, or she might not have been a Christian. Who knows? There'd have been no Northern Hero channel. I don't know, but God guides us into the right direction at all times if we are believers. Right? Well, after that, I think it was just a few weeks after our relationship ended, you know, she went off with somebody else and at the time that really hurt. She was a nice looking girl at the time. But, I mean, I we were about the same age as well. But if it's not meant to be, if other people are praying for you, then it's probably not meant to be. God's got better plans. And if anybody else is watching out there that's been having relationship problems and somebody leaves you or whatever and you are on fire for God, you know 100% that you're on fire for God and it's probably, I hate to say this but it's, it might not be meant to be, God puts the right people in your path I believe. I believe my best days are in my future. And to be honest, that's what I want to say. I heard that voice verbally, and yeah. Has anybody else heard? God's voice verbally. So people might be thinking, well, how do you know it was God's voice? How do you, how do you know? How do you know? Come on. With me thinking like that and something telling me to don't do it as though that I already planned something in my mind. God was pre-warning me. I, I'm pretty sure he was. Well, that's that story. Anyway, but... Um, if anybody else wants Robert uh, Crumb's book of Genesis, all 50 chapters, then I would um, recommend it. It's not for kids though, because nothing is left out, obviously. You know, because um, the killings and that. But it is, it is real. I mean, I bought it off Amazon last week actually. Brand new! For nine pounds seventy, and it should cost nineteen pounds. Uh, I don't know if you can you see that. But let me put the light on. Just giving you a quick flick. By the way, this guy what's done this book? Um, he's not a Christian. Um, but I believe God has used him in that way. Um, just for this book. recommend it. I mean I've yeah. In fact I'll put a link on this video what you're watching now at the right side. So you can have a good look at it if you want. Find out if it's got decent reviews. See if it's right, biblical or whatever. Well, it's based on the King James version actually and he's putting his own writing involved as well to make it easier for people to read. Right, that's all what I want to say. This is Northern Hero. See you another time.